Hi, I'm Kelvin Smith, Deputy Chief Executive at CERA, with the monthly update on what's happening across the recovery. A lot of focus is often on the Central Business District, but there's a lot of great things also happen outside the CBD, and particularly in the suburbs. And we're down here in Sydenham today to talk about some great things that have been happening down here, and it's great to see local businesses really embracing the rebuild and showing the way. There's an event that happens in a lot of cities around the world called uh, First Thursdays, and recently um, a First Thursdays event was held here in Sydenham and it was well supported by local businesses. Uh, the first Thursday event uh, had things like a, a night market, um, an art walking trail, art gallery um, displays, and um, it was in, attended by 5,000 people, and that was a great hit and a great first attempt. It's planned to have more of these first Thursdays, but with the busy season coming up, the organisers decided to wait until February next year. So look out for the next event, and if you can support the local community, get out and support first Thursday next year. Another important and significant milestone occurs this week with the reopening of the Isaac Theatre Royal after a $40 million refurbishment and rebuild. The theatre is 106 years old and it was lucky to survive a uh, total collapse in the earthquake, mainly due to previous earthquake strengthening. The auditorium has been completely rebuilt and the facade has been restored. There's a lot of excitement in the arts community about uh, the forthcoming events and they've really embraced its reopening and already there's a whole range of events been booked from the Trichet Symphony Orchestra, the New Zealand Ballet and the 70s rock group Jethro Tull, which of course has been sold out. The rebuild and restoration has been made possible by some very generous donors and particularly Sir Ian McKellen, otherwise known as Gandalf the Wizard from The Lord of the Rings, who donated $350,000. The reopening of the theatre is an important and significant milestone in the rebuild and recovery of Christchurch and it will form the foundation block of the surrounding performing arts precinct. There's been a lot of discussion and comment about the new design for Victoria Square and the Christchurch Central Development Unit which is part of CERA has been working with the Christchurch City Council in Naitahu since 2012 and we're continuing to work with them. The square will become part of the Avon River Precinct and it's designed to enhance the green spaces and really build on what the council had done back in 1989. And that's when the Victoria Street was closed and the road was taken out of the middle of the square and some of the statues and other things were repositioned. Victoria Square's got a rich history and it was an early meeting and market point for local Maori with early European settlers. And the design is designed to capture the cultural and historical significance of the square. The square will link to the neighbouring precincts of the Convention Centre and Performing Arts and it will help make the CBD a vibrant, beautiful and green space to be. A detailed design map of the square can be found in this month's Greater Christchurch Recovery Update. You will also find a heap of information from the Christchurch City Council's Facilities Update. There's a lot happening over the summer and this is due in part to great work from Christchurch City Council staff. The Recovery Update also has important information and updates from SKIRT, EQC, and contains everything you need to know about the AMP show and the future Christchurch Discovery Day, which is coming up. The Greater Christchurch Recovery Update is in your letterbox this, week, this weekend, or you can find it on our website www.sera.gofd.nz. Thanks for watching, and see you next month.